Hello everyone, this is Zeno T1 and it's the time finally to uh, do a product review. A new uh, product that thanks to OME it gave me the key to do a review for you in the pro version and I'm gonna do this and see what's the best features you're gonna find in the pro version. So let's get into it. So this is the user interface and this is the AOME Backupper Professional as you can see and I have the lifetime upgrade subscription here. So thanks again AOME for giving me the key to do this uh, review. Anyways as you can see before you buy the pro version you're gonna have only the, the way to backup and as you can see here we have backup or Sync. So basically Sync is good for those who have good internet speed and can Sync their files on the cloud and uh, recover it again later. So this is a good thing about this uh, application. Nowadays recovery and uh, backup is very important because we often change our windows and change the operation system that's what I've talked about to, uh, with my preview video because you need to back up your files before you install a new operation system in your PC but we, what we're gonna focus here is to review this product called Backup Professional Version and as you can see when you click New Backup you can do this System Backup Backup Windows and create an image of System Partition so as you can see this one can let you back up your system for example if you have Windows 10 it will create an image for Windows 10 and though you can use it to reinstall the operation system again which is very good for many IT professional professionalists anyways this is the disk backup disk backup that uh, take your hard disk and turn it into image file and this image file you can use it later to recover all your files that's been uh, located in this image file and this is partition backup so you take a partition maybe let's say disk E or F and then you take that partition and do the same process as this one disk backup and this one is file backup I can show you I can show you for example this one and it's gonna take the operation system from those two for now I have the, the C and the system reserved back up the source yeah from above because those have the operation system great and this is the disk backup for example you take a disk it can be C or E or as you can see F I have three here Anyways, this is gonna take all the disk I can see, not the partition. That's not like this one. This one can take uh, the partition. That means I can choose E or C or F and create an image. So this is great. And I'm gonna really need it later. This file backup. So you can uh, take a folder. You can take a folder with many files and backup it. Or you can take a single file a single file so it can be something like this xe or something like installer i mostly recommend one file that is that ip or something like this or you can do sync so as you can see you can choose one file to sync so it will schedule the sync as you can see here down so you can enable this and uh, you can do run once or run once every day so run once every day at that depends on your uh, yeah maybe internet speed or offline I'm not sure yet but this one can come in handy or intervals start time finish time yeah i'm not sure about this third uh, one but the most clear one to me is to run this every day if you have a good pc i really recommend to do this 
or you can do real time signing. So let me read firstly. So this basic signing is the layer signing changed files from the source directory to the destination directory. And this is real time sign signing. So you sign the changed files from the source directory to the destination directory in real time. So as you can see, this one you don't do it manually, but it does automatically sign for you. So, so you don't have to worry about uh, losing your uh, file anymore. This is gonna be very useful for many. And this is mirror mirror sign. So always keep the files in the destination directory exactly the same as the source directory. As you can see, this one will, for example, if you have two hard disks and let's see you got a virus. Let's hope this doesn't happen to you, okay? But let's say you got a virus and this virus decrypt your files. And uh, with mirror signing, you can prevent that. I mean, if you use the mirror signing, Always the files will stay there, even th if the virus try to decrypt it. So that's a good thing. And two-way signing. This is a good one too. Any changes in the source destination or destination directory will be signed to the other side. Oh, this is this one is very good too. Two-way signing. So you have two places: the source. And the destination directories so let's say the virus hit your source your um, your destination uh, uh, directory is safe let's say your destination directory got uh, got hit by this virus so you get the files from this uh, source and so on and so forth it's like two things helping each other two directories helping each other which is very good especially if you have some sort of servers or something like that so even if they try to uh, do something harmful to your server you can always sign it this is a good one and this one is a restore Restore, so basically you take an image file of operation system and you can restore as we always usually do but this one probably good and the clone this is a very interesting one i've seen it in all their software that i reviewed before but this one also have it which is very surprising and this is very useful if you are moving from like to hdd to, uh, to ssd so this is gonna be very good so this this can be system clone 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 or migrate your system to ssd or other disk so you basically take wait let me see this so you basically can create the double of your current operation system in another uh, let's say disk another disk for me i have only one disk but if i do another disk right now is another one will pop up here so it's good and this disk clone it's uh, also uh, clone a hard disk so you can pick all the disk and clone it that's pretty good and partition clone this is also have the same pr uh, principle but it take a small uh, small size I mean it take only the partition for example I can take this whole partition and uh, yeah i can clone it to another partition otherwise i can clone it to other disk that's all and this is the tools so you can cre create bootable media this is good for bootable usb and explore image i'm not sure what this does but yeah y y you can try it later and recovery recovery environment here it say easy to perform backup restore part, uh, operation when system crashes so this is a good one recovery environment so when i'm not gonna do this but you can try it for yourself and this is the disk wipe you're gonna wipe everything in the disk so 
It's not recoverable. Mm, we are not gonna do this. A share slash NAS management. Not sure what this one does, but I'm sure it's useful and it's here for some reason. And view logs. This view logs will tell you what you've done with the application. This is for security reason. And check image. Check the validity and data integ integrity of image file. So if your image file is corrupted, this one will fix it for you and this one you, you can see this import and export configurations for your um, software back upper and this is create create portable version so for this one you need technical edition but this one is good create portable version i think this portable version means you can use it on other pcs as a technician and i personally need it so maybe i will upgrade to that later if i need to anyways that's everything for today i've showed you all the features that the pro version have i hope you like it and uh, if you have uh, some spare money you can buy it for 50 dollar this one is good for professional users who will love to keep their data safe maybe you work in agency this uh, this is so much useful and i hope you like this video I can uh, like and share and subscribe if you want to and for more videos like this one just subscribe and i see you in the next one goodbye